Apple has just released iOS 17.5 and in this video I wanted to tell you all of my favorite new features and changes. Starting off with the new Pride Edition wallpaper which is sick because when you open it you've got this sick animation that flows right into the home screen. Now what's cool about the Pride Edition wallpaper is that you've actually got some customization. So if you actually tap on customize so you can see it says swipe between styles. So you've got different color variation. This is the second one that has this pinkish vibe this is probably my favorite one it's got this neon pink and blue colors that looks amazing you've got this one and this one so you've got five different color variation depending on which one you like but just look at this one how good it looks just look at that doesn't that look amazing there's also some changes with the podcast so now let's say i'm listening to the waveform podcast from mkbhd if i, if I actually swipe up as you can see it the widget will actually change depending on the artwork of the podcast itself. Let's go ahead and tap on Insight the Ecosystem, for example, which by the way, if you haven't listened to my podcast, I don't know what you're doing with your life. It's all surrounding the Apple ecosystem. As you can see, it actually just changed with a more gray tone or let's tap on Kavi's podcast, for example, and it will change red since his sweater is red. Las charlas de la esfera. As you can see, it's got this bluish tone, so it changes. Just like Colonel, maybe Apple was like, hey, let's grab some inspiration from Colonel. As you can see, Colonel does the exact same thing. Mufasa's poster is white. If you want to count down for your favorite upcoming films, for example, Inside Out 2, it's got this purple vibes. So maybe Apple actually copied Colonel. Who knows? Another new change in iOS 17.5 is whenever you search up podcast in Spotlight, you're going to get recommendations of the last podcast that you've actually listened to within Spotlight. So just like that, I can tap on Inside the Ecosystem. And as you can see, it just started playing that automatically. iOS 17.5 also brings site loading only in the EU, which allows us to install third-party app stores or even third-party apps within the iPhone. And it's totally legal. It's crazy. For example, I've got this app store called Odd App Store, which actually lets you install Delta, which I'm sure you've heard about it. It's an app that basically lets you install an actual Game Boy, the iPhone. It's basically a simulator and works with Game Boy, PlayStation, PSP. Like there's so many cool things to do in here. It's crazy that this is actually totally legal, which is totally nuts. The EU did this. It's now available. If you actually want a video about this topic, I want you to let me know in the comments and I'll definitely think about it. If you go inside of settings and then scroll down, let's tap on Amazon, for example. Over here, it will actually let you know the version of the app, the app developer, but not only that, the marketplace. So which app store did you actually download it in? So you can see marketplace developer, Apple and Marketplace, the App Store. But if you go on an app like Delta, which I haven't actually downloaded in the App Store, as you can see, it shows you Marketplace Developer, Alt Store LLC, and Marketplace, Alt Store. This is a great and easy way to see what App Store did you actually download the app in. iOS 17.5 also allows users to send a device for repair without disabling Find My. This is amazing news if you want to send your iPhone for repair in maybe a place that you don't really trust and you want to know where your iPhone is at all times, you can now do this. And as you can see, it now says ready for repair. This device remains fully functional in the repair state. While we're inside of Find My, iOS 17.5 also now alerts you of tracking detection of third party compatible trackers. So let's say someone is trying to track you with an AirTag, well, obviously the iPhone will alert you. But before, if there was a third party accessory like the Holomark, for example, which is a great third party tracker, Find My will actually alert you that, hey, someone's actually trying to track you. Apple Books gets a new feature, which is super cool. As you can see, this new icon will give you a new reading goal, motivating you every single day to read a little bit more. You can actually adjust your goals. So let's say, you know, how many minutes do you want to read per day? You can start off with five or you can do up to 30 minutes or whatever you want. Maybe you want to read an hour every single day. You can actually share this with your friends and family. You can be like, hey, look how many hours or like how many minutes I read today. It's a really great way to keep you up to date and to motivate you to read more. They will actually show you how many books you've actually read this week, this year. So you can see I haven't read any inside of Apple books because if I read, I actually use a physical book. But for those of you who read inside of Apple notes, this is a really cool new feature. 
This is a very small new feature, but the weather widget, the text has actually gotten way smaller. There's a lot of us that actually prefer the text being larger because it's harder to read, but that's a change that Apple has done inside of iOS 17.5. This wallpaper is available in insightbeecosystem.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Just click on my face or you can listen to my podcast. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.